Hey, what you got there? This is the main and official sponsor of this test drive. Love it. It's our honest, sincere and most pure and tasty energy drink with no harmful chemicals or any other crap. You can easily order it from the link below. A very tasty thing. And now enjoy this test drive. We did it for you. So we wait for your comments. No matter good or bad, likes and dislikes, we are grateful to all of you, no matter who you are, a fan or a hater, we always do our best for you. So now, let's start! Okay, let's bully someone. God damn it, I like this car because this automobile is totally insane, just like me. This car is called Lamborghini Huracan and it really is a hurricane, it's a fucking tornado. This is an apocalypse. It's incredible and indescribable and when I plunged into this world I felt this madness. This is the fastest car that we have ever tested in D3 and believe me guys, this car is not just fast. This car is a bullet and the bullet shot not from some pistol. This bullet was shot from some super long-range sniper rifle and it simply has no analogs in the world. And you guys have to know that this Huracan is in top 5 fastest cars at Nürburgring and this automobile makes all my most mad desires and fantasies about cars come true. I could have never even imagined a car more insane than this one. So in future, if I talk about handling ever again, I will keep in mind this car cause that's how a car must turn. If I ever talk about car's acceleration, I will compare them to this one because this car accelerates in 2.9 seconds to 60. It's 2.9. When I press the gas pedal, I feel an apex appearing on my stomach. Can you believe this? This is insane. So enough talking. Let's go. <laughs> what the f are you doing to me? What are you doing? 140, 150, 160. Are you insane? Hey girl, hello, are you fing insane? Come back to your daddy, goddammit! I'm simply. I don't know how to. Well, I have to pull myself together. Help me. Save me. Please, let's get back to some normal state. We cannot shoot a test drive like this. Come on, man, concentrate, for God's sake. We're shooting a test drive here. It's D3, man. Please pull yourself together and focus. We used to test a Nurakan, but this one is not just a Nurakan. It's a Nurakan Performante. And when I say Performante and make my eyes like this, Performante, it means that I'm totally ready to perform today. So it's all-wheel drive and it's got a V10 and a 7-gear robotic transmission that has a dual clutch, my friends. So the speed of shifting here is not just fast. For you to understand, one of my favorite BMWs M5 E60 has a fast shifting. But if you compare it to this car, the speed of shifting in M5 E60 is same as Lada 6 compared to my buck. What I mean is that I have never ever met a car with such a fast shifting and I don't understand how it does that. Check it out yourself, just listen to the sound. Here you go. Fuck! 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 
You see, it feels like it runs on one and the same single gear. You don't even understand when it shifts and how it happened. How the hell are you doing this? Explain it to me. This interior seems to be okay. It's all Alcantara. Feels expensive and pretty. Lots of carbon fiber. The buttons are pretty nice. It's all stylish, but there are some errors. For example, the rear view camera, when you go backwards or simply try to park your car, you have to turn the steering wheel and when it's turned, it's not comfortable to look at the dashboard because the wheel covers it. But it's the exact place where they put the display for the rear view camera and you simply don't see anything there, you have to lean your head to be able to see it. Well, window regulators, emergency parking switcher, what else is there? And this button to make it lift its front, when you come to some speed bump, you just press it and it lifts its face and then it lowers it back. What do we have here? Here we have the cover for the car, the service book and nothing more. Just some small tiny bags. This car catastrophically lacks a windshield HUD. And that is a real problem because the speed this car travels through time and space with is lightning fast. This car is fast as a flash. I simply have no time to change the focus from the road to this dashboard. And that is the only reason, I guess, why in this racing course mode, wait a second, let me switch it on, the numbers of gears are this size, they take all the place on this display. That's because they understand how the driver feels at this moment. His heart starts to beat faster and... He has to react faster with such a speed and the amount of adrenaline this car injects into his life and his blood. Where is this thing? Oh, it's mechanical. These visors are rather interesting. He has a mirror inside for one eye only. And there is actually nothing more to tell about this interior. This car is one big adrenaline syringe. Please pay your attention to this beautiful carbon fiber. The price of this bumper is about 16,000. And the amount of this material is simply incredible. Just look over here, this is all carbon fiber too, it's just painted yellow. And look at these two gum barrels. Guys, what you think about that? It looks f***ing awesome. What a style, damn, what an ass. An incredibly beautiful car, it's simply amazing. These taillights are so good looking, so stylish. This bumper, this carbon and the way it sounds. By the way, this is the distance it shoots flames. When you drive this car in a good mood. I think that this is the fastest thing I have ever driven in my life. The Evo, the new Huracan Evo. It's almost the same fast, it's really equal. And I can call it a city car and it really does feel more comfortable in the city. But this car is not comfortable to drive in the city. This car is a bad choice for the city because it's not comfortable even to sit here. It feels like I'm sitting behind a machine gun, behind the Maxim machine gun. You grab it, you aim it and start to... I do not own this car, it owns me. This night I was sleeping and dreaming of it. And when I woke up, I was thinking about it the whole morning. I opened this photo and was looking at it for some time. I don't know what had happened. It feels like a lightning stroke into my head. But I turned to be totally blown away with this car. I think that using this course mode in traffic can be very uncomfortable and inconvenient and you will have to be too concentrated on shifting. I've always hated cars where these shifters are static and do not move with the wheel. But here this is not a problem because there is only one mode when you really need them. When you drive in strata mode, you simply drive with automatic transmission and relax. It has just shifted to the 7th gear and yesterday when I was driving at 45 miles per hour, I saw an indicator with two pistons and one of those pistons was an active, showing that half of the pistons of the car were switched off, I guess. This is such a technology that was made for fuel economy and I have never expected to see that on such a car. Check this out, here it is. As far as I understand, it means that it has just switched half of its pistons. Such a technology helps you save the fuel when you drive slow and calm, but when you accelerate, this indicator goes away. The difference between strata and sport modes is that strata suits more for city driving. It goes calmly and with less sound. With sport, it becomes faster, it becomes louder, and you can still use the automatic transmission, so you can still be relaxed driving fast. Corsa. 
doesn't have an automatic transmission mode. You can shift only with these shifters. This suspension is super stiff. In the car mode, this car turns into a wild animal, into a wild bull on the rodeo. So you really do need lots of experience to handle this beast. This steering wheel is very comfortable and the visibility is also very good. I can see everything around me. I think that all these bells and whistles and all these stylish gadgets you simply don't need them in this car. Because this automobile can easily lure you into its own world without that stuff. This is the car that you fall in love with. My body is inside here, but my thoughts are over there, far away from here. These headlights are quite regular, and there is nothing supernatural about them. There is no space technology, it's just a simple and ordinary light. It has carbon ceramic brakes. And these are the coolest brakes I've ever seen. I have never seen or felt faster stopping brakes in my life. God damn! F hey, what happened? We were running at the speed of 145 miles per hour and stopped so fast that this belt almost cut me in half. I was literally hanging on this belt breathless. Balls to the horizon! Do you know what that means? Balls to the horizon is when you press the brakes. And the car stops so fast that your balls still pull you forward and it feels like they levitate in zero gravity. Have you ever feel that? <laughs> Jesus Christ! Are you f***ing insane? It's so awesome. I used to drive a regular Huracan. With this Huracan Performante, I'm becoming addicted to it. You're gonna have to bleep this. This is fucking madness! Police. This car is so fast, guys, that even if you were driving at 160 miles per hour, you always have the time to reduce your speed back to 40 past the police officers put on your glasses and continue enjoying this car. I have no idea how can anyone review this car without any swearing? Come on, come on, who's the bull here, god damn you? God damn, that was awesome! <laughs> this car is wild! This is not just a spoiler. This is one of the most perfect systems that works with airflows in the world. The thing is that if you look at it from below, you will see these gutters and all the airflow that comes down from the roof. It goes into the front part of this intake. It goes through it and gets into the mechanism that was made to increase the pressure in turns from one or from another side. This is quite a complicated system, so I tell it in simple words. This car works not only with the ground, it also works with the air. What do you think about that? If it feels the lack of pressure from one side, it simply uses the airflow and with its help, it presses the necessary side of the car. Do you realize these space technologies? This aerodynamic system is able to load this car up to 350 kilos. This is absolutely incredible, just think about these numbers. It can load the car up to 350 kilograms to press it and stick it to the ground and follow the trajectory 
that the driver chooses for it. They say that it's possible to feel how the system works even at the speed of 40 miles per hour, but I don't think that's true. In fact, it's possible to feel that at the speed of 125 miles per hour. On such speeds, you can easily feel that system works in turns and get pressed really hard. It's P0. It's 245 30 R20. Where should I drive it? Only in Sochi? I simply cannot imagine myself driving this car in Moscow. I have a confession to make. Don't know, maybe I'll change my mind later. But right now, I'm decisively and persistently want to buy this car. We've been testing it for two days already and I already understand how to deal with it and my opinion about this car is fully formed. And it's the first time, after all the test drives we've made, when my opinion about a car is so good that have you ever seen me washing a car with my own hands, which is not even mine? And I did wash this car because I fell in love with it and because only when you sincerely fall in love you want to care about it you're my baby girl you have no idea how it feels if you never fell in love when you are in love you have this insane feeling of euphoria I'm fully in love with this car but I think that making it stand here for more than 15 minutes is simply a crime especially when you're in Sochi and the weather is so good and you are in the mood to race my girl you're such a bitch i love you so much come on come on are these numbers real 140 155 jesus christ this is a nice ride, and this ride is still able to steer on such a speed. 135 in this turn. You are so good. So if I finally calm the hell down and pull myself together and try to remember all the experience with all the cars I have ever tested or simply driven in my life, I'm so delighted with this car because it has things that I have always been looking for. I always searched for it in BMWs, in Mercedes's or in Audis and I always desired this level of steering. I always dreamt about such an acceleration. I always wanted and waited for such a braking system this car is insane and now this car sets a kind of a bar of how it must be done because there is a car that can do it all this car exists and it balances on the edge of physics this car issues an ultimatum to physics it doesn't try to negotiate asking whether it's possible to run into this turn or not it simply sets an ultimatum saying that i will go around this or any other corner at any speed i want so now you are watching a man who is fully in love with lamborghini and the longer i drive this automobile the more and more i hate Urus. I consider Urus not just a boring automobile. It's a f***ing disgrace for the brand. Lamborghini must feel ashamed for Urus because this is the real Lambo. You are able to create an incredibly precise, accurate and elaborate car. I am not just charmed with the design of this car. I'm really in love with it. I'm shocked and I'm excited. This car is similar to someone real and incredibly beautiful and sexy escort girl who is the most expensive and exotic hooker and I'll tell you why this is not just a car this sweet baby will tease and please you on weekends or whenever you have time to stay with her and believe me every such a date will cost you lots of money the regular maintenance will cost you about five thousand dollars any simple part of this car whether it's a part of a suspension or a bumper in case if you accidentally hit it will cost you a bloody fortune this car has 640 horsepower I've driven cars with much more powers like Ferrari F12 Berlinetta it has 740 horsepower it's a hundred horsepower more but the feeling from driving and the drive itself that goes through me while driving this car is impossible to compare with anything and the biggest problem here is that I'm already messaging the owner of this car and offering him you know what money I'm trying to make a deal with the owner of this car and persuade him to sell it to me. Do you understand what I'm doing right now? There is an Aventador, SVG, 
It costs about half a million bucks. I hope that soon we are going to test this car. Is that Aventador the same mat? Yes, it totally is. But this car is smaller. This car is... Well, I can't say it's cooler, I simply like it. This car has uncomfortable seats and it has no um, door closers. And there is no seats vent in here. Sitting inside of this car is so inconvenient that my legs and my arms are going numb. And not only mine. Anyone feels the same when he drives this car for more than an hour. God damn it, my spine and my ass are in such a pain from this car. This car brings you lots of problems all the time. Even the maintenance is problematic in Russia because officially it's supported by Autodom company that is completely incompetent in giving any services or working with their customers. They were impolite and even rude. When we came to check Uros, Transformator and other car blogger, he also mentioned their bad attitude in his videos. When I came to the dealership to pick and buy a car with money on me, the manager came out and said, sorry man, I have no time for this, I have to go home now, why don't you come back tomorrow? As if they have queues for these Lamborghinis every day. And the owner of this car also told us a very interesting story, by the way, this is his second car. Well, everything starts from the moment you buy this car, when you come to the dealership and... You are not wearing a Brioni, but some sports suit, they will look and treat you like a rubbish until they see the money, and then they suddenly change their attitude. The first car I bought was the usual Huracan. Okay. When I came to their service for my first maintenance, they said it's gonna cost me 5,000, though when I came there with my R8, it cost me only a thousand, and these two cars have all the same parts, cause they all are made by Volkswagen. So, as soon as I left the service, I felt the car behaves the same bad as it did before, so I went to non-official car service, it's called Meteor, you know, this place. So I decided to check my wheel tracking there. And the guy put my car on the stand and said, damn, man, it's all in red zone. Did you hit it somewhere or what? What has happened to this car? I said, you won't believe me, but I had just spent 5,000 and they said it's all perfect. And your wheels are looking different directions. Yes, they were sticking to the sides. And how did it feel? Well, it felt like it was bouncing from side to side. It was losing the traction. And what was the name of the company that made this perfect work? Was it Autodom? Yes, it was called Autodom. I think they used to be called Autodom. Well, they are the same guys who are the official Lamborghini dealership now. Yes, I think so, yes. Anyway, after that I filed a complaint against them, but that's not all. When they gave me the bill for all works, I checked the information before and after, and understood that it was not even mine. For a couple of minutes I was trying to understand what was wrong until I saw the title. That was from a Lamborghini Aventador. So they even gave me the papers from a wrong different car. What would you like to say to Lamborghini official dealership in Russia? I would like to send the regards from all my heart, love you guys. So here's the thing guys, I like this car, I loved it, but I have to think twice whether to buy it or not. And if I buy it, I understand that I will have to face this goddamn out dumb company and to deal with its warranty services concerning this car. And why the hell do I need this stress and these problems, if I already know that there is no quality in their services? So this car is uncomfortable to get in, it's not comfortable to sit in this seat. The real issues with servicing this car and all repairment will cost you a lot, same as the regular maintenance, and there is no compartment or any other place to put your stuff in, and the insurance is expensive. And owning this car is expensive. This car is full of disadvantages. But all these disadvantages cannot overweight those feelings and that love and that passion. This car woke in me, and I do really like it. And they may do their Evos or whatever, maybe some Integral or any other model. But today I feel... I feel great. And this car gives me unbelievable emotions and makes my heart beat faster. I can only say that our life consists of impressions. And you can lose absolutely everything you have in a blink of an eye. So I want to fill my life with this kind of impressions. And I want to live with real feelings and I want to love and respect my automobile. Because this is not just a car, this is a toy, this is a personality. I want to have a car that I will really love, not just use it as a device or some mechanism. We used to test Bentley. It's beautiful. Very beautiful. And he has 632 or 34 horsepower and this car has 640. But these 640 horses are the most wild, the most insane horses I've ever met in my life because they are incredible, they are absolutely incredible. I see this car as a bullet and this bullet as golden bronze in the front and all silver chrome in the back. Mm. And with me riding it and sitting upon it and now we need some cool music. Off -gate, auto -loader.
45 long slide with laser siding. Uzi 9 millimeter. You can't do that. Do you remember these two barrels in the back? Man, when you switch the cars mode, they simply shoot everyone who dares to come too close to this car from the back. People like to say that you don't have to search for a love, the love will find you when the time comes, and it's the same with cars. I've never thought that one day I come to Sochi to shoot a performance and absolutely fall in love with it. I have never had a clue. You know, it's pretty funny to watch me getting inside. <laughs> Let's go, I'll show you. I'm even ready to lose some weight to be able to sit here more comfortable, so now you can imagine how much I like this car, my friends. And now we're going to race a helicopter. Let's see who wins. Attention, get ready. Let's go. Do you see us? We are right above you, bro. Everything's fine, we see you. So what do you see me now? We see you, wait a sec, stand right there. Huh? Huh? So what? Who? Who is against me? AMG? Or a BMW? Audi RS? Come on! So my dear friends, it's time to finish this D3 test drive of this Huracan. And this car is just incredible, it's the wildest and the most insane car that we have ever had in our show. Thank you guys for staying with us and thank you for your likes and thank you for your comments. As always, we try to do our best for you and show you this beauty. I recommend this car to all of you. If you have enough money, buy it without a doubt. Unfortunately, I cannot compare it to McLaren or some Ferrari Pista right now. I'm sure we'll do that one day. But today, at this moment, I'm 100% sure that this is the coolest car and the most insane car in the world. You're Davidich. See you guys.